Hello, everybody. It's a bit <laughs> weird, isn't it? I know it's got already whispering. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, we've got the background music from the pub quiz. Yeah. Uh, for those of you guys who've been around for a long time, enjoy you recognize that. it? Nice and cheesy. We're back. <laughs> All right. Hi. We've been. Uh, this. I'll turn it down. I'll fade it out. Yeah, that's cool. It's a bit weird because. For the first time, we've got a baby sleeping. Yeah, I know. So that's why we're kind of talking a bit like, hi. I hope you can hear us. Um, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, everybody, to uh, the launch of our new book, Roger the Liger. Roger the Liger. We got a few messages, people asking, they're not sure how to pronounce it, but Roger Did the Did they Liger. mean Roger or Liger? I don't know. We I don't, don't know. know. We don't know. Um, uh, but but the there it is. The idea is that uh, the whole point of what we're doing now is just to talk you guys through it a little bit. Um, Answer questions, have some fun. We made, uh, <laughs> what do I call them? Ligaritas. Ligaritas. It's a ligarita. Uh, are we revealing the recipe? Sure, it's not that exciting. It's like a poor man's apple spritz. Oh, it's not very good either. No, not a good part. <laughs> uh, fun fact, we made those drinks because we did the, um, we, we had Ugh. crook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had crook tails in the last one. And uh, yeah. you were lying because they were you, were, you were pregnant. I was, yeah. So you were just having... Not lying now, this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea, guys, is um, we're going to be here talking to you guys, telling you some stories, talking about this book that we yeah. made. Introduce you to our new star. And we can see, once again, all your comments down here. I see that people are watching from all over the world. Uh, Australia, America, Amazing. Lyon, Amazing. Uh, Hawaii, New York. Look at all these coming up. So um, fun. Seattle, Kalamazoo. Uh, Kalamazoo. And what we're gonna in do? Australia. No, that's in the states. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. We've 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 heard that one before. Kalam uh -huh. Kalamazoo. Uh, Kim Loftus. <laughs> oh, right. Is. But what we're gonna do? Hi, Kim. What Hi. we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna press that launch button in two, three minutes, basically. Yeah. And the reason that we're doing a little bit of fun about it is because we put in limited things, so there is a bit of a. a Urgency. There's a bit of an urgency because they once they Depending. sell out, we can't do anything about it. Uh, exactly. As for the book, though, that'll be on the Kickstarter for a week, and I think we we do a little sort of intro about what it is and how we did it, and then uh, launch the Kickstarter, and then we'll talk you through it, show you some of the pictures that we printed off A3 for you today. Um, oh, hi from Sweden. We got Sweden, Sweden as well. Uh, we'll start with the obvious. Yes, the cover. The cover. The cover of our new book, Roger the Liger. I was going to say, is that backwards for you guys? But we can see ourselves here, look. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> so here he is, Roger. He's a liger. He's got the stripes of a tiger, the mane of a lion, and the beret of a prison. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, we kind of shared this already on social media, what it is and what was going on, because Part of me was like, I didn't want to spend this launch video explaining what a Liger is. Uh, uh, Sasha, we'll take five copies! Amazing! We haven't launched it yet! <laughs> uh, Amazing, Sasha! <laughs> <laughs> but the idea is, it, they do exist. They're about a hundred and I was talking to someone about it today, actually. Oh, yeah? And I thought it would be a bit lame to do a story about a poodle. Uh, that everyone knows when Nothing we could potentially no, a little bit against the poodle. Really? I prefer oh, a liger. Okay. It's way cooler. We thought we'd do an animal that maybe people have been, hadn't heard so much about. Yeah. Irene White says, I love a chubby cat. It's not a chubby cat, <laughs> it's a liger. <laughs> but the idea is um, the plot basically, if we put them real close, is uh, it's totally, absolutely not based on a true story. And it's this uh, liger who lives in Paris. If I do the premise of it in 30 seconds lives in Paris, loves dancing, and dreams of dancing all over the city. So there's so much more Paris in this one than the last there's one. a lot. Um, it's really very Parisy indeed. And uh, he's petrified and embarrassed and ashamed that he thinks if he does go out in Paris and dance, people would be frightened and scream. So he's resigned himself to hang up his dancing shoes forever. Very sad about it. Or has he? Let's see. I don't want to give away the plot the on this plot one. Begins. The fun of, of a fictional <laughs> book is you guys have no idea what happens in the end, whereas with Kylie the Crocodile, you did. Um, uh, Bellman's Garden says it looks very nice. Cindy says it's adorable. 
Uh, Dee can't wait to see him dance. Laura Lee is precious. Oh, it's great. A wonderful comment. Thank you. Do you, have, do you have anything we should add? Maybe I'll ask you one question about your drawing. You ask me one question about text. This is off the script. Oh, oh, okay. And then we'll Ooh, press launch nervous. and uh, leave it over for you guys. Okay. Um, do you want to start or should I start? I'll start with one thing. Okay. The thing that's the most uh, probably rush to get, and I didn't say this last time, but it's sold out for Kylie pretty quickly, mm. is getting your name in the back of the book. Yeah. And what I mean, should we show that one after? Yeah, let's show it after. Okay, but what we've done is a, a even more special way than the macarons from last time. Yeah, and, this is very Parisian. And the whole point of doing it this way is this is how we fund the initial print run. Because if we just took a gamble and printed thousands of books and no one bought them, then we're in serious trouble in a fairly small apartment. <laughs> and we wanted to escape that at all costs. Did you want to ask me a question first, the other way around? Sure, I could ask you a question. Hmm, how about what? Why have you chosen, I know it's not good, it doesn't have attention. Uh, why have you chosen to write in rhyme? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Where to begin? Mm, where to begin? Uh, I don't know. I think I like writing. I've been doing that since I was like, I don't know, a yeah. baby, six years old. It's or quite interesting when you, when you uh, ask me or like, you're oh, like yeah. this line doesn't work and it has to be like this. And I'm like, what? Just rhyme like cat with hat, and yeah. it's like, oh, it's so much more than I that. I think there's a lot too with the, the, the rhythm, rhythm, I can't hear the it. pentameter maybe. Yeah, even. I think I'm tone deaf for your words. And I'm tone it's deaf great. for a <laughs> drawing, but I wrote it like <laughs> that because I like it. That's such a good collaboration. Yeah, yeah. and I think <laughs> I want to do it a bit more playful and clever than a boring children's rhyming book. For example, in the middle, and I think we get to talk about this a little bit, I rhymed English words with French places. Hmm. And uh, I've got a question for you guys when we get to it, especially Americans, because someone told me one of them doesn't work for Americans. Um, I think I know which one. <laughs> so I, know, I <laughs> that don't would know. Be interesting. But the book is finished. We can uh, make small adjustments, but when we see how this Kickstarter goes, we'll send it to the print house uh, or not. If it doesn't reach the goal, we yeah, won't do it at all. My question for you before I press launch okay. Okay. Was there one image that you're particularly proud of? Or if you don't want to answer Ooh. that, that was particularly difficult. Particularly difficult. Either that you feel comfortable answering. I well, know. it's actually um, not difficult, but the one that is most challenging is finding the character. You just like, you have to try to set the character. It's like, who is he? Well, who is Roger? And like, what does he look like? Like finding his face sort of. Yeah, mm. and like, I chose to put glasses on him because I thought that that would suit his character. You know, all these things. It's just... Um, what do you say I to conservative most... viewers who notice he's not wearing trousers or underwear? I know, I know, you know, business on top, <laughs> party on the bottom. <laughs> no, um, you know, I just went with Donald Duck approach there. Yeah. Or Bonald Buck. I'm not gonna, oh dear, okay. Yeah. Oh, delicious, yeah. uh, like a reader. Mm, mm, uh, Ryan yeah. makes it easy to memorize, says Pete, and there, ha there have been children that memorize Kylie. There are over 100 people watching. Oh, wow. <gasps> 42, and uh, we did this for the last one, 42 likes. When it hits 50 likes, I'm pressing launch. <laughs> okay. That's how easy it is. Pooh Bear has no bottoms either, says Brianna. See, uh, see, it's good. I'm a bit it's late, but I'm glad to be here. Jackie, welcome, Jackie. Gabrielle's nervous. I want to be on one of the books. Get your fingers ready. Yeah, trigger, trigger, uh, what do you call it? Trigger finger? Happy? Well, Lena, that's a bit. Trigger on a, on a Saturday night in a children's book. Uh, Kim says, we're creative and clever. That's very nice. And uh, Morris says, uh, like me speaking French in Paris, I can identify with Roger. Great. Oh, perfect. See, not just for children. Also, if you were watching very, very carefully in Kaya the Crocodile, you will have already seen Roger because yes, we snuck him in. Hint. And we'll show that uh, before we finish today. Are you ready to launch? I'm so ready. There's 70 Are likes. you ready? Yes. Thomas G puts Liger emojis. Look oh, at that wow. for fun. Here we go. Let's do the launch. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I know what we need. I know what we need. Wait. I think I, think I need a sip of the Liger. <laughs> do you remember this? Yeah, Terrible flashback. <laughs> okay. I'm fading it out. Okay, launch, launch. Prepare to launch. You ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, the link is in the description. And if you can't see the description, the earfultower.com slash 
Roger, R-O-G-E-R. I'll put it in the chat too. Three. Okay, two. One. Bottoms up. Launch. Here we go. The project it's live. is live. It's live. It's live. Okay, good luck, folks. Um, if you did the Kai the Crocodile one, it's exactly the same as uh, that. Exactly the same. Yeah. Same tiers, same level, same prices. The book, same size. Same, same size. sort of uh, hardback cover with matte, beautiful matte finish. Mm -hmm. And what else? I should put the link same there. Same sort for of folks. length. Of mm -hmm, the story. Mm -hmm. Turn that music off. Oh gosh, yeah. that drove me nuts. Yeah. Uh, it's up. We see it. Okay, I'll see if I. Uh, so, uh, same. The only difference with this one, which we uh, thought would be a little bit fun, is we put a bundle. So if you buy Roger, you can throw in a Kylie. It's like half price. So I think you can do Roger and That's Kylie a for treat. yeah, a little treat there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Because we want you to have both. True. You know, true. True. Little... True. Little uh, series after all. Let's see if that link works. The Eiffel Tower dot com slash Roger goes. Yeah, that works. Goes directly to um, to the page. There it is. Okay, oh. it's up. Oh goodness, people are already. Oh, wow. uh, someone backing. <gasps> Amazing. There you go. Congratulations Yay. to whoever you were. You were first. I'm turning. I don't want to look at it. I'm turning it off. <laughs> we look at it. After. Uh, I'm not even going to look at it. We'll talk <laughs> about the book. Yes. And we'll let you guys have the time to check it out. Um. Yes. Okay, should we show some more Let's pictures? jump into the book. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're 12 minutes in already. Um, well, we've got a few pictures here, actually. We've got a spread that I thought it'd be fun to show so people get an idea of what's inside the book. Mm. Um, and we'll just give you an idea. I think, I have a feeling a lot of people probably went over to the Kickstarter page to look at it. Probably. And on that Kickstarter page, um, there's all the information that you need. Uh, Deep puff, I don't see it. Uh, just click that link that I put or go to the earfultower.com slash Roger or look in the description of this very video and you'll be able to find it. Um, Tom Thomas got an email from Kickstarter about it. Oh. Irene White did it in capital letters! <laughs> when I, I assume when people do capitals, we're meant to yell. Yeah. Excitedly, I uh, think. I'll put the link one more time in the comments. Otherwise, the eiffeltower.com slash Roger. I can't make it easier. I can see it right there. I wish I had those oh, Liger words. emojis. Yeah. Uh, Irene's yelling. <laughs> Big shout out to you, Irene. Uh, we'll give you guys a taste of what's in the book. And then we're going to answer uh, any of your questions, I think. Yes. Um, yes. And if no one asks any questions, we'll... We'll just ask ourselves some yeah, questions and, then we'll go and hope you watch. To bed. <laughs> uh, so here's a fun page. I think if we go back to the plot, Roger's in the Parisian Zoo. And the way the text, we could have printed that one. Mm. But it's on the Kickstarter. The way it begins, same kind of style and rhyme is, um, as the last one. It goes, in an old Paris zoo, not far from the Seine. Roger the Liger. Was dreaming again. Yes. Uh, and it could be sane and again if you prefer to oh, pronounce it like yeah, that sure but there's same. French rhyming words with English that's the point and he's dreaming of dancing mm. and uh, then it's this huge dream sequence of him dancing all over the city which we're going to show you in a second he zooms in on different like different places landmarks and there's so many bonus little hidden things in there way more than with Kylie in fact um, There's even like a little game that I built into it. Yeah, which we won't reveal just yet. There's two. Okay. There's two games in there. There's two. Oh, yeah. Two get yeah. more. There's more. There's more. And there are a few um, cameos. Yeah, there's lots of cameos. Lots so of cameos. we had lots more fun because we kind of know what we're doing now, I think. <laughs> yeah. um, but here's one that I'm going to show you with a cameo that I think will explain. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then. Uh, we won't get into any more of the story, I think, because I don't want to spoil it, I think. So here's uh, this fun page. Cool, the questions are starting to come in, but this one. So you might have seen Lena sharing this image on um, Instagram. Yeah, it was my little teaser picture. So I'll start with the text. This is him dreaming of what he wants to do. He says, oh, how I'd love to go ruffle my fur and dance on the steps of the old Sacre Coeur. And there's old Rog. Dancing up by the steps. And as you guys have been there before, we'll remember Sacred Coeur is full of people uh, sitting on those steps. In fact, if you look very closely, 
there's some handsome guy there with a microphone interviewing some beautiful girl. Uh, it could be someone that we know. Who could that be? And <laughs> a grumpy guy whose wife looks like she's buying uh, expensive Everything. or fake. What, what would those ones she's be? She's just a shopaholic. Uh, <laughs> so these are scenes we we really tried, well you did, to capture Paris, the Paris that I'm sure you guys know and love, um, while adding a sort of element of fantasy to it as well. Yeah. But this spread, where's the next bit? There it is. Yeah, I want you to be able to just stop at a page and be able to look at it and find new details. So this would be the spread about like page four, five, six, seven, something like that. Yep. And the next one, so it goes, oh, wow, I'd love to go ruffle my fur and dance on the steps of the old Sacre Coeur, waltz for a while with movie star charm, the main entertainment around Notre Dame. So you got the gargoyles up there, you got the Notre Dame. In fact, this was, in fact, this was the, uh, one of the rhymes that, uh, that um, some Americans said that other Americans might not get because they call uh, it Notre yeah. Dame or Notre, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Little Paul, what do you think? Notre Dame and Charm, do you think I can get away with it? It's not too late to change it. And the other yeah, question... Yeah, we haven't gone to print yet. And the other question is, and I'm quite interested, feel free to answer me because I will read this now and I'll take it into account. Um, this line here, the main entertainment, uh, the main entertainment around Notre Dame. I want to spell main, M-A-N-E, like a lion or a liger's mane. Uh, hang on, let me say this, M-A-N-E, but I'm afraid that there are people who might go, Oh, you spelled main wrong. Oh, yeah. So do I... I kind of wanted you to do it, though, because I think it's funny, and it's a children's book, and I think you can get away with it, but I... I don't know. We don't know. I don't we, know. That's the fun of self-publishing. The yeah. rules are it's in our hands. What do you guys think? Main or main? Or don't care? Um, well, it was laughing. What are you laughing at? I don't know it was it. a comment by Irene in honor of Roger. I will wear a stripy t-shirt and no pants today. Irene. Irene. No. You're gonna, are you going out or are you at home? Okay. Uh, okay. Now we take a look at some of the things. Okay. Uh, comments. Yes. I uh, also want to see if people mention main works, main. Go with main, main. Right. Okay, good. Yeah. There's I six think in so. a row saying really main. Cool. Um, the rhyme works for Carl Beam. Ooh. That's a good sign. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Beams. I thought you <laughs> yeah. had a nickname for Carl. Oh, but just Beams. You're talking to Pearl. him and uh, yeah. Jody. Yeah. Okay. All the beams. Let's see. We're going to read some questions. So if you've got a good one now, we're going to focus on the comments and read them and answer them. Except, come on, nothing about lockdowns and and uh, pass sanitaire and stuff nah, come on no no no, no. Nah, uh, <clears throat> uh, if you two have a game i'll certainly lose says carl well i think i've gone too far back i don't know what did that mean oh i said i built in a little game oh, into the book. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> um, <laughs> kenny fisher jobs in french pronunciation of roger why aren't you using it roger roger roger, roger maybe roger. i'll tell you something funny about Ligier. that Li, uh, what would it be ligue there's, I searched for Roger Liger in France to see if anything popped up. And there's a Frenchman in Brittany who's called Roger Liger. <laughs> he, but his name would be Roger Ligier. We need to send him a book. Uh, no, 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 we need to get okay. him to the launch party. Oh, no, this is the launch party. Too late. Ah. Um, anyway, that's, that was unexpected. Okay, here, let's go over the questions. Uh, people are saying that they pledged. This is great. Thanks so much. Uh, oh, I hope you're going to like it. I hope so. Well, if you like Heidi, I'm sure you like Roger. That's... Because they're best friends. That's basically... Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't want to give anything away, but there may be Kylie cameos. Yes, cameos. So many cameos. There's definitely cameos. Yeah. And someone asked if we're going to put the next character from the next book in this one. Oh, for sure. I was going to say... <laughs> if, there's an, if there's an next one. Lena. Which we don't know. Uh, okay. Hildred Sull Sullivan says, Sorry, I can't do it on iPhone here in Ocean City, New Jersey either. Can I somehow get a spot? It'll be very hard to reserve a spot because once they're gone, they're gone. But uh, close this video and, and open it because we're still going to be here for another 10 minutes or so, I think, or maybe more. Um, Krin, okay, congratulations. Now she's going to go back to sleep. Hi, Krin. Um, I know I will look tomorrow and you'll achieve your goal. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow, confident. I like it. Thanks, Krin. And thanks for being up at five in the morning to all oh. you guys. I'm seeing oh, you guys say oh, how you. Lachlan Cook... Uh, Lachlan distributor Cook, who helped out with Kylie's and Paris on Earth, says that it just passed 5,000. 
That means we may well reach our goal very quickly. No, it must be 500. I think it's 5,000. That's insane. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm okay. going to think it's 500 because I don't want to get too excited. Sasha says, in honor of my pledge, I'll be Roger for Halloween. <laughs> that. Oh my God. I like to see. I love it. Okay, where are the That's questions? That's amazing. Okay, here we go. A Someone... very striped t-shirt. Someone without Maybe a bit name of a, on Facebook. A bit I mean... of a beard going on. Why not? Okay, we've got good questions coming in. Okay. This one's for you, uh, yeah. Adrian or Adrienne. Yes. In Tasmania. Does Roger have a girlfriend? That's for you. Well, it's not a visible girlfriend. Uh, there was a scene where I painted or drew his girlfriend. Uh, it got cut. <laughs> a lot got cut it, from it this It got book. cut, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And why did it get cut? Um... <laughs> no, we, I think we're going to do a podcast episode about this on Monday because there's a lot to say about making this book compared to the last mm. one. One cool story I'm, I don't want to get too deep into now, but we actually wrote this one first. We did. And it's to, been like a few years in the yeah. making, even though it's completely different. And to give you the sort of really, really, really short version, we wrote it and we showed it to some people in the industry. They mm. loved it and they were like, we have all these grand mm. ideas for it. It'll be ready in two years. And we're like, two years? And they're like, we're and they're like you might, serious, yeah. but you need to change this and that. Like, ah, and like, no, no, no. <laughs> We'd rather do it our own way. Yeah, they wanted to change it's, lots of things, yeah. didn't they? This is way more fun. Anyway, this one did change a lot in the end. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, uh, Lucy, do you ever get into any creative arguments while working on a project? No. Yes, we do. <laughs> no, we, we don't. <sighs> uh, no. No, No, we don't. it's more like... It's quite interesting. Because it's more it's in the kitchen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What are you no, saying? it's more like when someone comes up with a, what we think is a good idea, we never know which one of us come up with the idea. That's it's true. It's more like you just kind of shape it together. That's it's hardly so, an argument, though, is no, it's it? it's like the opposite of We don't argument. argue because we, we, work so we work quite separately and it's more yeah. like we show each other when we're finished. Exactly. And so it's like I fully trust Oliver with the story and the words. And then you fully, I hope, yeah, trust and, me with the pictures. Yeah, and it's like we both know yeah. not to say to the other person, should I do this or this? Uh, it's mm. rather you fit. So what happens is I usually do the text, mm. Lena draws it and goes like, off piece a little bit, yeah. right? So she'll draw something a little bit extra. Exactly. Like what happened with Kylie is Kylie didn't explore Paris in the first book. But I was like, I really want her, I really want some... Paris scene you put her in, the, you put her in the, like La Dure or something yeah you just, she just added yeah. it and it's like what do you think and I was like yeah and then we don't know how who came up with it yeah it and it just, just kind builds. of it just evolves and that became a huge part of the story that she went looking around yeah it got way more fun like that and the same thing happened with this one and mm. and we for this one we're purposely not getting into the second half of the book uh, which involves a lot of Parisians and animals because uh, you know what's the point in sharing it all Sure. We want to encourage people to uh, go for it. Um, oh, wow. Gabrielle says, I got the book pledge. There are only four of ten left, so hurry up if you want one. Oh, wow. What? That's that's wow. that's huge. Amazing. Thanks, Gabrielle. Yeah. I, Thank wow. you. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, how exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. I think um, this is going to happen. Leslie says, can I put the name of two children connected with an and in one book? Yeah, so let's talk about that page because that, um, the idea for that, this is fun. Should we show it? Yeah, we've got the sketch. It obviously looks different to this yeah. because so it's this on the So this is the computer. original. Um, but it will be um, slightly edited and changed and colors and, you know, that sort of thing. But we'll show you the rough idea of it. So the idea with this is it helps us fund the book quicker than selling 10,000 copies. Is that if people go at a higher tier, which you can see on that Kickstarter page, I guess if you're quick, on the Kylie book, we did this big tower of macarons and everyone that pledged they got their name in there. So some of the names that we've been hearing in the um, comments today, Lock on Cook, I see. Yeah. Carl and Jody Beam. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Oliver's there, but that's not me. No, it's another Oliver. So anyway, what we did this time around is, I think, more fun. Is, is it that way? Mm. Like, yeah, look in France, uh, on, along the Seine River, there's Bukinis, these guys that sell books. And so what we did this time that's a bit different, can you see that? It's a Bukinis stand. An empty Bukinis stand. And so, so we will fill up all the books, the posters, so just with names. 
The only thing is, you can't, and this happened in the last one, you can't s send in... Like, I want like, the third book from the left. It's, oh, yeah. it's going to be placed on random. It has and, to be random. Uh, then also, some of the bigger posters, like, you see, like, there's some big ones, oh, or like the bag. One, yeah. Uh, it will be several names on one, yeah. well, depending on how many will pledge. There's a super, <laughs> super important thing here, is that you have to be quick to tell me what name you want. Um, because we can't print the book without these. Oh yeah, that's crucial. And there was someone on the Paris on Air that, that didn't respond to me, and it, it just delayed the, the yeah. thing. So you, it, maybe as soon as you book it, uh, send us a message, but uh, don't do company names or whatever. Like, don't go Facebook. Nah. Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> you're watching, uh, but also keep it to 25 letters, you know, you, you can't write Oliver, Lena, Otis, uh, Grandma, Grandpa, no. and our little house on the prairie. It's got to be short, you know, yeah. three names max. Reasonable, you know. We could probably stretch it to 26 letters or something, but that's the point. Hmm. Maria Transado's here. Here's <gasps> Hello, a, Maria. Should we do a question? <sighs> no, I can't, okay. I can't I've think of any. Quiz. How many She's bridges in Paris? Quiz. Oh, that's a good one. I actually I want to know. I think I know the answer. Do you know? I think I know the answer. Do you? I think it's... Okay. <laughs> I don't think what? it is, though. I don't think so. No. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Well, how many bridges are there in Paris <laughs> inside the periphery? Maria? Um, okay, okay. Put main in quotation marks. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Is Otis uh -huh. in the book, Wanders Gabrielle? Yep. Yep, he's in there. He is. He um, is. He's Little asleep cameo. now, by the way, if we didn't mention that. Yeah. Creative director. Um, <laughs> uh, da, da, da. People, okay, do you run any ideas by Otis Wonders Bob? <laughs> well, yeah, it's like cry if you want to have, if Roger should be yellow. He does a lot of, um, this is what he does at the moment. He does this. A lot of that. And a every idea that, that we yeah. give to him. Yeah. Uh, are there any winks to funny face in there, Lena? Great question, Lauren Gibson. Ooh, Ooh. maybe any, some any of the... Well, there's some, yeah, there's some balloons. Uh, on the cover, on the cover. Either, yeah. Because uh, I thought that would be, I, yeah, that's, you know, from under the Arc de Triomphe, the little one. Um, but there's also some, like, there's a lot of dancing, and she obviously does a lot of dancing mm. or they do a lot of dancing and it's kind of some some famous dance moves and from some other famous dance movies oh yeah some, we can be oh you can see you can see it on the kickstarter page oh yeah there's people asking there's uh, one from flash dance you know where she sits on the on the chair and gets like water on do you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's some good questions. There's, and there's a, a practical question from Kim. Can yeah. she go and edit her pledge? It's really easy to edit a pledge. Um, it's super easy. Super, super easy. Um, I don't know. It should be... I can't do it right here, but it's like top right, edit my pledge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it, You can figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> um, uh, damn, that's a really good question. That was a funny one. Where do I send the name since I already pledged and I couldn't find the place? I didn't have a place uh, because the way Kickstarter works is they don't want to waste everyone's time if the goal doesn't get met. Mm. So if we don't reach the goal, it Nothing would be crazy if we've sent you questions already and everything. So it's either I'm going to have to wait till the goal gets reached or you can just send me an email or my ideal suggestion for you guys is just keep it in your head and be ready for when I send out the email at the end. Yeah, Basically, so next Sunday. Don't go on holiday. If you're going to go on holiday, message me. Someone asked, um, are any of Lena's fashion designs in there? Mark, did I ask you that yes. already? Yes, there are. A couple of bags, Sasha wonders as well if your handbags yeah. are going to make it in. Yeah. Um, Gab <laughs> of course. Gabrielle says, uh, my cousin is the one uh, who has a Swedish wife and a baby boy around the same time Otis was born. How lovely. Aww. Um, so nice. Where, more questions, guys. More questions. Uh, that's so cute. Bukinists. Oh, just curious. I've, I've read these. Are there any... Will Eddie do an animation? I love the Kylie one. We've asked him to. I think he will. Eddie, are you watching? It's very early in Sydney. Um, I think he will, but uh, it's it's harder to make a liger move than a crocodile, isn't it? Well, he's moving way more. Yeah, he's got more he's limbs. Yeah, dance where a crocodile just the, has to... Yeah, he's got the crocodile got the tail. You know, you know. Uh, uh, the anatomy. Um, <laughs> a lot of people just saying how much has come in. Uh, that's great. I'll check it out uh, at the end. 
But um, Maria Transard is asking for the link. Maria, I sent it there, the earfultower.com slash Liger, if you're just tuning in. Or Roger. Which one is it? It's Roger. It's Roger. Glad you're here. Yes. Plus, I'm glad you're here for the book, otherwise it yes. would just be text. I was thinking it might be fun to read a little bit uh, from the book. I think so. so. Do a little reading. I don't have the book because it hasn't been printed yet, but I have it in front of me. Um, oh yeah, and the, the thing is at the very top of the description, if you couldn't find what I said. Um, the link? Yeah. Mm. But I'll read, I'll give you a little taste of a fun bit of the book. I was thinking this bit. Yeah. Do you think? Or that bit? Maybe both. Start with that one. Yeah, I don't want to read the whole thing. Okay. That gives it away quite a bit, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Okay. So I'll do the next bit. So this was a pretty fun page in the book. Maybe, maybe you could show the bit with the Parisians. No? Okay, we'll save it. Goodness me. Goodness me. We, we're, um, we're being cagey, aren't we? <laughs> so I think this is fun. I think you guys will like it. Just to get a taste of the rhyme and the rhythm, because I realized I didn't put it very much in the Kickstarter page. It was very image heavy. So mm -hmm. Rogers, the bit that I read you where he's thinking about traveling around, he wants to go to all these places. Lots of places that aren't super top tourist destinations as well, mm -hmm. like the canal and the catacombs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then he's sitting back there in the zoo and, he, and, and, and he's sitting there looking grumpy, I think. Um, and it says, But Roger knew well it was only a dream. If he roamed around Paris, people would scream. Oh, oh can we read this together? <laughs> okay. We're going to do uh, book events. We've already got two in Paris yeah. at the end of October. So we've got to practice. It's so exciting. Uh, but Roger so hopefully knew... we'll, obviously, hopefully we'll print the book. Otherwise, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, it's it's true. It's true so that, that's yeah, I know. Of... <laughs> we'll be in trouble. Yeah. We'll be in deep trouble. Uh, but Roger knew well it was only a dream. If he roamed around Paris, people would scream. Oh la la! They would cry. Run away, it's a tiger. Or is it a lion? I think it's a liger. Isn't he strange? Isn't he weird? He looks like a tiger that's grown a big beard. <laughs> and then you it like says, that. see, ligers exist, but it's rare that they do. If you saw one dancing, you'd probably scream too. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? It is a it little is bit of fun. fun. It is fun. Oh, dear. That's the worst. <laughs> that is just the worst. It is the worst. And they're so big. Yeah, I know. I know. They look pretty, though. Okay. Think I think we'll answer a handful more good. questions, and then we're going to uh, uh, leave you guys. Uh, I don't know about you, but some of us woke up at 4.30, was it, this morning? 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, you know. Uh, question from Tom. Uh, is Kai making an appearance in the book? Yes. Yes, and even in the text. Yes. This is like a little world and the characters are meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark says, uh, Mark and Patricia Knight says, Hi Oliver and Lena. Hello Hi. Mark and Patricia. Uh, how about reading Kai the Crocodile for us? That's already on YouTube. Penny, was it Penny? Um, but it's, uh, it's there, you can find us reading it on YouTube. Does Roger go? <laughs> Andrew <laughs> wanted. Does Roger go to the wall? I assume referring to the Philip August wall. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, shit, we've got to put the wall I in the background. I have to sneak it in somewhere. I have to. You know what you could I do? Have to sneak it in. You could do on that page, at the end, mm -hmm. with the gate. Just do a little. You could have the wall at the edge. I love it. Like yeah. There you go. Uh, who said that? Andrew Murphy. I love okay. your thinking. Very we'll good hire thinking. you as a creative director. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. I forgot my own obsession for a while. Uh, okay, last couple of questions. And then we, we say we wouldn't go more than uh, 40 minutes, I think. Ooh. And that means we've got six minutes left. Oh, wow. You in? Yes. Yes. Okay, so quick and quick and uh, Corinne's really going to sleep right now. Okay. You're more than good halfway night. there. I have no doubt you'll be there tomorrow. Congratulations again. Sleep well, Corinne. Thank you. Can you host an earful dance party, says Lynn. I'm so in the mood right now. <laughs> That'd be something. That's fun. You know what would be a really stupid and fun earful event? Mm -hmm. A silent disco, that right? Because so everyone's podcast listeners, I suppose. Yeah. So we all come with headphones. Or we just do it wherever we are. So people <laughs> just dance like lunatics in the street. There you go. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you. Uh, Pink Cadillac tuned in late. Why a liger? Did anyone ask us that anyway? Why not? That's the answer. We like ligers. I said before that it would be a little more boring to do something like a poodle, because I'm sure there are 50, 100,000 books on poodles already. Yeah. I just like a liger. 
I think it's a yeah, it's a really good. It's a you know, it's a I, very rare animal. I've got a better answer actually too. Okay. There's a better answer to this, um, and it's true. The the liger ligers are so weird and different. There are only about a hundred in existence, and if you if you want to dig deeper into this book, this character Roger feels very different. He thinks people will scream when they see him. He doesn't feel accepted. He looks unusual. He's very rare. Mm -hmm. He's a crossbreed, and it's like. Um, there's a sort of a little story of uh, being yourself and finding it and getting acceptance and stuff in there as well. And I like a liger for that story way more than every other animal there is. Yeah. If there's any animal that's going to have confidence issues, even though they're very big, <laughs> I looked into ligers. They don't live very long because they, they, uh, they, they, if we didn't say it already, it's when a tiger and a lion make a baby, yeah. it makes a liger. And there's also a thing called a Tigon, tigon yeah. but that's the opposite, I think, yeah. and any, they're smaller. If any animal is going to get bullied, it's going to be a liger, even though they're very big. So that's the yeah. other reason. There's a more serious answer for you. I tried to make a, make the sort of a little, a little message, a little message in there too. Mm. Um, uh, Lucy sends in twenty dollars to buy a mango on Rue Claire. <laughs> that's very kind, Lucy. It's funny that you say Thank that. You. you know, <laughs> if you guys who are new around here, uh, we I bought a mango for ten euros on Rue Claire about a year ago. Very, very tasty, but ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah. I did it again the other day by accident. Yeah. Did I mention this on the show yeah. already? And then you just pay out of guilt. I, I was shock. so guilty. I was standing there yeah. and I saw it was a last minute purchase. And the total came to like 11 euros because I bought a banana or something. And, a, and, a, and a, I was going to say a liger and a mango. <laughs> and I could, I didn't have, I was too polite. So thanks, uh, Lucy. I will do that. Okay, here, here we go. Is the release party October 23rd, says Lachlan. If... Uh, this Kickstarter reaches goal and it looks like it will. If the books get to Paris in time, and it, there's no promise on that, mm. then we will almost certainly be doing an event. We have penciled in. Yeah, at Smith and Sons, which used to be called W. H. Smith, uh, on Rue de Rivoli. Yes. Yeah, right next to Concorde. Yes, it's that will be amazing. Yeah, we're very very excited about it. So Deb we're says we've surpassed our goal already. No. Is that true? Okay, I've got to check it. Really? That can't be the case. I've got to refresh the page. Wait, hang on. It doesn't say that we've done it for me, but maybe it takes a while to... Okay, well, we'll see. We'll keep my eye on it. We'll see. We'll keep. Unless maybe... Uh, I see it. it $10,000, not uh -huh. euros. Okay. Wow, well, okay, okay. Not far off. Uh, last couple of questions. Last couple of questions. Um, any Bruce Springsteen references in the book? <laughs> Are there? Not on purpose. Um, I'm sure you can find one if you really, really want to. There kind of is, because there's a scene where he's dancing, he dancing in, in the, the dark. dark. Oh, yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, also, there's a scene with uh, the river in it, which is another Bruce Springsteen song. So there you go, there's two. Um, yeah. Lachlan's penciled in uh, an airplane ticket. No, he's more than penciled in. Oh. Um, uh, just tuned in, thrilled to be part of the Kickstarter. Where is Otis, says Robin. He's asleep, he's, he's fast asleep. asleep. We shouldn't yes. be shouting. Uh, oh, we're so excited. Deb was looking at it in Canadian dollars. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and then Maria asked how we came up with Choice of a Liger. I think I've answered that one a couple of times. We like it, and there's a little message in there. They're a bit unusual. Um, Fun to draw. Any other hidden clue trails in the book text? In the text? Mm. I mean, you have some wordplay in that. It's a little wordplay. I yeah. said it at the start of the video, but a lot more people are watching now. I rhymed French place names with English words, mm. and I thought it was pretty neat. I've not seen anyone do that before. Probably because they don't really rhyme. But you saw <laughs> it ruffle my fur at the Sacre Coeur, you see what I mean? Yeah. Charm at Notre Dame. Um, are we going to do a US tour? Who knows? I mean, we can only hope, but um, we can't promise anything. It could be an Australian tour. Yeah. Because uh, we both want to go to Australia a lot. I think that's it. I think um, I think that's all the, the questions we can answer. Because they're starting to repeat. So what we're going to do is leave you on this. Um, the Kickstarter is going to run until the weekend. Next Sunday. Yep. yep. The reason we did it with a little bit of urgency today was because... Uh, um, firstly, it's fun to get it off to a good start. 
Definitely. Secondly, like we wanted you guys, especially you guys who are, who we know are fans and, and uh, have supported us before, we wanted you guys to get the chance to be able to get your names in the book and so on. Um, that's important. Yes. Uh, that some randoms who don't even care just oh, get yeah. Zuckerberg. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do a podcast episode that we'll record tomorrow night a little bit deep in the book. So if you've got more questions that you didn't get answered, send them along. We're happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. uh, and just in general, like the idea of sort of creatively working together in Paris. And then uh, events at the end of the month, at the end of next month when we get the books. Yep. Is that it? Oh, I can't wait. I can't really, wait. really hope that will happen. I'll leave you on this weird note. So this is the third book that I've done in a year and a half or so. Or so. Mm -hmm. Never done an in-person event. Yeah. Due weird, to everything that's been going times. on. Imagine that. So a lot of online. Looking events. forward to this a little bit extra, I guess. I recognize like half the names that are coming up, but I wouldn't recognize any of the faces. We're not yeah. like some of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't forget to show us Roger and Kylie. There you go. That's what we can finish on. Where's Kylie? Oh yeah. It's very well hidden. <laughs> I'd be surprised if anyone's seen it or clocked it. You know. So on the very last page. You know, if you have the book, the Kylie book, there's the page with the, yeah, it's like Paris cut through. We're going to do that. this again, by the way, for this current book, Paris Facts, about Versailles and the mm -hmm. and so on. But there's this page, which hasn't got anything to do with the story, and it says, watch out for more adventures from Kylie and her friends. Do you want to explain this one? So, let's see if we can spot it. So, here, you see, well, there's Kylie. And here on one of the little kiosks is a sign for Roger and it's like he's, it says, he's the next big event and it's, it says Roger and is like half his face and it's very, very tiny. But so pretty fun. imagine if you guys missed that, how many other things you missed. I mean, there are so many things. All right, all right, so all right. So many things. Uh, okay. Never ending fun. That'll do. Yeah. Guys, uh, I think we're going to crash ourselves. Yeah. I got a headache from the disgusting uh, ligarita. <laughs> was it strong? I didn't think it was so strong. It just tasted it's bad. Disgusting. Um, yeah. Podcast episode coming on Monday. We'll be here to answer questions. What would be super, super duper helpful for us um, uh, in general and always, but especially with this, is if you guys share it. Oh, yeah. Share Spread it on your Instagram word. story. If you don't know how to do that, just tell a friend. Yeah. Um, put it on Facebook or what else? Just spread the word. Mm -hmm. There's a couple in Paris who are doing cool things. Just get their new book. Kylie was cool. <laughs> if I had to script that out for you. And we're happy to share that stuff too. So cheeky. But it, it, help, well, it helps. <laughs> it does. That's how everything has grown. It's thanks to you guys spreading the word. I know you already do it. Thank you very much. And thank you for tuning in and launching this project with us. Yeah. I mean, wow, it really has already flown. I'm very, very excited. Almost 100 backers. That's very cool. You guys are great. You guys who were waiting till the end of this video to do it, the link is at the description. Uh, TheEiffelTower.com slash Roger. Uh, and uh, we look forward, we really look forward to sharing it with you. Yeah. And, uh, and hearing more from you, the ones of you that got the name in the book. Just Oh yeah, keep your eye on the, on the inbox. Well, that's it. Lots of people saying uh, hello and thank you and good night. And we send the exact same sentiments to you. Merci beaucoup. Au thank revoir. Thank you for and, joining us. And thanks for spending uh, the past 45 minutes with us. It was great fun. Can't wait to see where this thing goes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.